Hey! How y'all doing? The music in Loco Roco is so good. <laughs> it's so good. I am not centered. I'm not going to be centered. I'm going to be off to the side. Because all of the audio stuff I've adjusted has is designed for me to be off to the side. And I'm just like, whatever. When I get to gameplay, it won't matter. Maximum says, is Mal joining us? Oh, no. She's in Florida. So we're going to play this game with Aller. <laughs> Which is actually, like, good. <laughs> it's, good. it's good that we're playing this alone. With her parents? Yeah, with her, with her dad and Rhonda. Her dad and her stepmom. Mal's in a better place. Uh, I mean, she's in a better place because she's with family. She's not in a better place because she's in Florida. <laughs> Even people from Florida are like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> like, are there more boring states? Yes. Are there worse states than Florida? Um, I don't know. So Loco Roco is a great game that I played when it came out in 2006 on the PSP. I love it. And they released it onto PS4 a few years ago. So you can play it on the big screen now. And that's also great. I cannot wait to play this game. I haven't played it in a while. It's going to be a good time. First, I'm going to read some alerts. Also, I ate lunch, but I wanted a snack. So, I got myself a little snacky. We got 65 months from Kiwili Scipio. 24 months from Winterkeck. That's a two. Congrats on two. 17 months from an E3. 52 months from Gonzo Tinkerman. 20 from Jamie Shadow 9. 48 months from Chrissy Halo. Congrats on the four. Um, 46 months from Corin Silver. 16 from The Bringer of Chaos. 8 months from Denge 21. 28 months from Corlon 22. 52 months from Munchkin Macadamia. 54 months from 05 Nataku. 50 months for Twilight Cat uh, 24. 65 months from Quack Team James. 10 months from Tashi B. 53 months from Zelda Master 702. 29 months from Woot Brief. 30 months from Melly Drew. And 48 months from Victoria Swift. Congrats on four. 30 months from Demon's Blessing. Some caught up on alerts. So, I have, um, I have a playlist. <laughs> Chess says, I did a 1,000-bit alert for Loco, but don't get too excited about it. Oh, don't put yourself down, Chaz. Evolved beneath a puzzle shed, tiny Eddie's mind Velcro Chewies. Jigsaw? That's what I think of when I hear puzzle shed. That was a bit from Slick Duke says, Eddie, this opening cinematic feels like a fever dream. What snack do you have to bring me back to reality? Tiny Eddie's mind Velcro Chewies. They explode in your mouth. And they stick to your mouth. Once you put them in your mouth, you can't change your mind. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Wait, no, I don't want to eat this. Too bad. It's not going anywhere. So a little history about Loco Roco. Loco Roco came out in 2006 for the PSP. I think that's a year after. It's a good alert. It's a good alert. You can just fill the screen with with uh, the Loco Rocos. Just a bunch of low guys. That's a thousand from Jace book. Anytime you want to fill the screen with uh, Loco Rocos, you can. You can do it. Um, brum, 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 brum. Let me pull this up because I've already forgotten. So Mal and I, uh, Mal and I actually attempted to stream this. We attempted to stream this uh, four years ago in January 2020. And um, I, Mao is, I don't know that I've ever met anyone who gets as motion sick from video games as Mallory. Um, there's just a lot of games over the years that she's struggled with. Like sh when she played Portal, she had to play Portal like 30 minutes at a time over the period of like six sessions. I think she did better with Portal 2. But maybe it's because we changed the field of view or something. Um, also struggled a lot with Mario Galaxy. Um, and just like various video games over the years. Likes video games. Unfinished, in fairness, Unfinished Swan made me sick. I was like, what are they doing? But uh, when we when we tried to play Loco Roco, she was like, oh, I cannot do this. And I was like, okay. So um, now I'm doing it by myself. Yeah. Yeah, the begin the beginning of Unfinished Swan is a is a interesting. I would be curious to find out if um if like anyone has been able to play the beginning of Unfinished Swan and not be sick. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let me see here. Okay. I pulled up the Wikipedia page for Loco Roco to see if I could remember some things. I definitely had something different in my... Oh, I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of something different. Okay. So the designer of Loco Roco is uh, Sutomo uh, Kono. And... There's actually not a lot of information on Wikipedia about him. It might, there might be something on Moby Games. But it just says he's best known as the designer of the video game Loco Roco and also contributed to Eco's level design. Mamma mia! I'm like, oh. <laughs> cool. The PS4 version came out in 2017. So that's when they developed the remastered version. There's also some other ones. Like, they made Loco Roco 2. They made a mobile version. Apparently there's a spin-off for the PS3. Anyway, I played it whenever it came out. I got a PSP. I got I got a Nintendo DS and a PSP like right when they came out. Uh, DS came out a little bit before. Um, I didn't. I wasn't planning on getting a PSP, but then um, the the modding scene was happening very quickly, and I was like, oh, I want to play Super Nintendo games. <laughs> So I got the PSP, but um, I did own a few different games, and uh, one of them was Loco Roco, which has firmly implanted itself into the base of my skull for uh, going on 20 years. Well, the PSP was also like PSP was a really important device. Because you have to remember, this was before smartphones. Like PSP was like 2005, 2006, and the modern smartphone. If we're gonna if we're gonna call the modern era like the iPhone in 2007, like the PSP was a big deal. It was an HD screen. It gave you internet access and like a whole file system, right? So like you could like download images, you could download music. 
Um, it doubled as like a Walkman. It was a really, it was like, it was, it was a big deal when it came out. It's kind of hard in retrospect to explain how important it was because now we just have a smartphone. But before smartphones, it was a whole thing. Um, you could get it with wire. Oh, with cellular? Maybe. I didn't have a cellular model. I think maybe that didn't happen until the PSP Go, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, it was it was a very, very cool device. And um, it's kind of a, like maybe a bit of a meme now, but they sell the, what are they called? UMDs? They, they, they sell the UMDs of movies. So like you can find all these PSP movies. There's like thousands of movies that were released onto the PSP. And that's because that was during the era that if you wanted to watch like a movie on a plane, you had to bring like, I mean, there's in-flight entertainment, but they were, it was bad. Um, so you'd have to bring like a portable DVD player with like a screen. So the PSP was like, it was a big deal. It was very cool. I really liked it a lot. Hi, buddy. That's a PS5. You cannot step on it. Kepi's here. We had 66 months from Micro X Roses. 25 months from CJ the Grand Hunter. Randy Bits and Berry Crepes, this is update on the person who played Earthbound for the first time. I finished it! And it's definitely one of my favorite games now. Awesome! Awesome. I'm glad that you liked it. It is a unique game. And I'm really appreciative of the fact that it's on the, what's it called, NSO, so pe more people can experience it. Hey, let's maybe not knock the switch onto the floor. You're barely not in frame. Oh, you kind of are. You can come over here. Come here. Come here. You want to smell this Coke? Smell this Coke. Here, do you want... Here. Come here. Walk across my legs. Or don't. Oh, God. Sing about the PSP. The PSP released back in 2005. Now I think about it, I'm glad that I was alive to experience the games. They were great for me. Also, how many times did I watch the Spider-Man 2 movie? Oh, I de die, de die, de die, die, de die, de die. For those who don't know, Spider-Man 2 was a pack-in. <laughs> It was a pack-in UMD movie for um, the PSP. I don't know if it was all versions or just the beginning or whatever. So like, yeah, I've, I've, I've seen that a few times. More than once. Oh, Kep got comfy in an unusual spot. I'm glad he's comfy. And it was your favorite movie too. Uh Jam is right. It did look amazing. You, I really like. We're so spoiled. These things, the the pixel density on smartphones is wild. I bet if you go back and you walk and you look at the PSP now, you'd be like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. But at the time, oh my god, it was it was when they started releasing um, the Grand Theft Auto games and they put Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. Like that was amazing. I was like, dude, you could play GTA 3! It wasn't exactly GTA 3, it was like a new stuff. But I was like, that's amazing! But come here. Oh, there you go. Anyway. Chess says, I'm from the pocket organizer era. If you have more than two lines of text in your pocket, you are spoiled. <laughs> 
I put. That was 5,000 bits from Reed, the Nintendo painter, said, sing about the PSP. I have good memories of that. I really do. I have some really good memories of the PSP. It was a cool, it was a cool little console. Uh, we got 41 months from the Tacos are here. 510 bits from Anissa says, As I said when you originally tried this on stream, I don't get particularly motion sick, but, but this game was a lot. Let's see if the second try goes better. We'll see. Uh, you know, d people get different types of motion sick from different, like, movements. So, shrug. Um, the other thing is that when this game originally came out, it was for handheld. And I think part of it is the fact that when you're, when you, when you're playing it handheld... You have a lot of like peripheral vision around the handheld, so I think if anyone is motion sick and they're watching it on like a bigger screen, it might be a it might be a stream to catch on mobile if you have issues with it because it might fix that problem. Maybe, possibly. We had ten months from uh, Totoro Kid nine nine seven seven and thirty five months from Mars Hacks. Thanks, appreciate it. Chess says, watch on mobile and rotate your phone as Steven plays. <laughs> you could. You could do that. Uh, okay. Um, I still have alerts on. I didn't discuss this with Chaz. I don't know if we're going to bring this to Steven plays or not. I guess I could just, I guess I could just have uh, alerts on and off. The levels are pretty short. So I could take breaks. Then we could decide later. There's just there's just so much stuff. Like Moon isn't even out yet on Steven Plays, so I'm like, how how what kind of backlog do we want? <laughs> Cause there is so much potential backlog that we could have. <laughs> it's large! Yeah, I think I will take breaks then. So I'll turn alerts on and off, or have Chaz do it. And then, um, if we want to release it on plays, we can. But if not, it will at least come to the VOD channel. Is the song going to play the whole game? No, there's a whole soundtrack. But they are all great. They are all great. They're great songs. I'm super excited. Alright. Loco Roco, technically Loco Roco remastered, released in 2017 for the PS4, originally released on the PSP in 2006. I didn't hit a button. There we go. <laughs> the stream went down <laughs> as soon as I started. I love that. I can restart the game. What are the odds of that? How do I... How do I... Go to title screen. Are we back? Man. Sorry, it was hilarious that that happened as soon as I started the game. Like, I literally was like, new file! And it's like streams down. Yeah, Twitch got motion sick. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to play this stupid game in 2020. It's been four years. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Because I want more people to know about it. Here we go. Let's play Loco Roco. New file. There's a little cutscene. The cutscenes haven't been remastered. This is definitely in the original resolution. Loco Roco always had a little bit of a, like a little bit of a Katamari feel to me. 
partially because it's a little it's a little weird and the graphics are very cute. That's new though, because like originally obviously this showed like a PSP. So you play this entire game with just the shoulder buttons. In this case, L1 and R1. Like, that's it. That's how you play the entire game. Yeah, now this part obviously is remastered, and this looks great. I'm, uh... I'm playing... I'm playing this on... Uh, a 4K screen. And I'm actually recording this in 4K, so on YouTube it'll be in 4K. On Twitch it's only 1080. I am Moimui. Uh, Loco Roku's friend. Collect these to make Loco Roku grow. Find them all and lead them to the goal. Start! Try pushing the L1 or R1 button. And it, it rotates the earth. So R1 tilts this way, L1 tilts this way, and you get to move the earth around. And then also, while the um, songs are playing, the Loco Rokers are like singing along, which very much reminds me of. Um, also, like not doing anything, Loco Roker just moves on his own. And is like, cool, I'm gonna do this. But obviously, you have like a little more control. If you're holding L. What does it remind me? Oh, uh, New Super Mario Brothers. That's what I was gonna say. So if, you, if you're holding one direction and then you tap the other one, you can. Uh, like, pop him up into the air. There we go. So I ate one of the flowers, and now I'm a little bit bigger. So I want to get as many flowers as I can. Because then I get, then I get big. Let's see if I can... Okay. Alright, so there's eight of us inside here. Nine. Ten. So, at this point, I think it will probably tell me how to do it, but you can pop them apart. Oh, okay, so there's one additional button. <laughs> so give the circle button a quick press. So when we do, this will split us all apart. And then when we get down here, we can reform. The, the screaming is really good. <laughs> ah! Anyway. Oh, I'm getting bigger. Let's keep eating. Okay, we're up to 15. And you probably already saw, but there are some, like, secret areas. Mui Mui! Find my friends Mui Mui's, and something nice will happen! We got a loco house part. Okay, let's... Now this is open, so let's roll down here. And this is the same thing. Like, we can't quite fit, so we're gonna have to break apart. It's like Pachinko. <laughs> all of them bring them together <laughs> the uh, the language that they are singing in the background is a made-up language and that's great too there's anywhere to go to the left. Oh, we broke apart. Oh, we reached the end of the stage. Just stay still for a little while. I'm not going to remember everything about this because it's been quite a while since I played it. So 
So it looks like we missed two. So there were there were there were two somewhere. I don't know where they were. We did not find them. Wait, wait. Yeah, I'm not going to be going for 100%. I just want to revisit this game. But you can play it for yourself and get all of them. Welcome back. You did it. On to the next stage. So this is the first one. Something about this remind the, the like the level end and then also maybe the world select a little bit reminds me of Yoshi's Island too. It's Katamari plus Pachinko plus World of Goo. Man, I mm, I can't argue with that. That's not completely wrong. Wee wee. I ate part of a house. I have so much of this music on my personal playlist for my... the music I play in the car. And I love it every single time it comes up. <laughs> Can I fit in here? Mm, no. Alright. That's true. Blaze says it's also a little bit of the monkey ball since you control the stage instead of the character. So there's like spikies. And I... Th when we get close to it... It's not, I think Loco Roco screams. He's like very afraid. I think I can get up there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So there's one of the, that's like a secret one. In all video games, spikes are bad. Is there something down here? I guess not. Seems like a good place to hide something. What is this? Oh, I can dig <laughs> if I just stand still. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. In a lot of like, uh, like if you find, if you're if you're uh, looking through, like PlayStation stuff. Like, uh, whenever you're setting an avatar, they have, like, things from various PlayStation games. Like, you'll always find Loco Roco. It's very, like, definitively a, uh, PlayStation IP. I think it's, I think it's what I have my profile picture set to on, um, like, PlayStation Network. Give me these. You can get pretty large, too. So you need ten. They have... They have to form a choir. I loved that sound. If I want to just have like two, I can just have two. But it's generally easier to have them combined. There's anything back there or not? Oh no! I'm wee wee. My me, my me, my me, wee wee. 
Is there any hope of me getting back up there? Oh, definitely not. Nope, missed that. <laughs> my, my, it's mwee mwee, but I can definitely see how you heard my wee wee. <laughs> if there's 20 in this level, we missed one, which is better than last time. I'm so happy to be playing this because I haven't I haven't touched this I guess I I don't know if I ever replayed it so I guess I only played it in 2006 and it's just stuck with me for almost 20 years they're so happy welcome back What an enormous tree! Hit me with that tree. You get different types of loco rocos each world, I think. And they're like slightly different. But I don't remember the specifics. Well, we got hiding over here. This is good music, too. This is a little more calm than the last ones. Ooh, I want that. Got it. Oh, oh, oh! There's another one! I could break apart. Yeah, there we go. Oh no! Oh boy. They're really separated. There's another one up there. <laughs> oh no, where, where are my boys at? Hmm. Yeah, they got eaten. <laughs> now I'm down to four! Love it! Should not have broken apart there. They were screaming because they were dying. What is, what's this? Oh, I need 10. Oh, hmm, hmm, well. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I have five. Is that something I can break? Yeah. Got them. Yeah, if the if they are off screen for a little bit of time, they die. It's, it, I guess that's probably one of the reasons it reminds me of um, Yoshi's Island too. Wait, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Certainly not, because this was secret. What's down here? I don't know. I'm gonna that, if I go down there, I'm gonna fall down a pit. So I don't want to fall down a pit. Get out of here. The little screams every time you get near something spiky is somewhat tragic. Wee wee. Okay, well, I'm not going to get to experience whatever the clouds were about. But now I can get back on track. See what's down here. Oh, this is wiggly. Let's roll over here and grab this stuff. And not touch the spiky. If I can help it. Well. <laughs> okay, I definitely want to get big, though. Okay. 
Okay. Still nowhere close to 10. I think I needed to get all of them and then get back on track. That's the only way I would have been able to experience the clouds. Oh, time to time to eat nuts. By eating all of the nuts, you've earned <laughs> you've earned a fruit. Oh, this little guy. Hey, little guy. Hold on. Put me put me into your nose once more. I need this. Alright. We're doing good. We're finally to ten. Break it down. Get up there. Oh, is it? No, we made it. That's it. The levels are pretty short. Oh, we did really bad. That's not good. That's a very low score. No local Roko has ever died. They've never they've never been dead. It looks so cold here. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Don't we us? Hmm. Give me that. Some of it you, you have to react pretty quick, right? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if there's any hope of that. There's definitely... I think if I can get some speed... No, 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 no. I think if I can get some speed this way... There's some, uh, I think that's a that's one of the plants. Come on, buddy. There we go. I have to do it twice to get that. This is like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater now. Down we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on! <laughs> this is agonizing. I did it once. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's the speed I needed. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm really sliding. All right, half pipe time. Good. Grab it. I kind of wonder if there's something up there. Don't think I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I'm going pretty fast. Sometimes you can squeeze into things like this. Not now, though. Stuff over here. Ooh, watch out for that guy! Get back in. Is there something else over there? 
No. A lot of falling. I don't think I, there, there's another one up there. I don't think I've missed any. There's one. Got it. No spikies. Get out of here. The entire game looks like it was a like an illustration. Oh shoot. Mmm. Careful. Nope. Nope. Stay up. Nice. Is that a way I can go? Is this like a secret? Yeah. Oh shoot. Oh god. Oh god. Come here, little guys. Come here. Wee wee. Come on, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Good enough. Sonic the Hedgehog, if very big. I think I go down from here. Yes, I do. Beautiful. I'm at 14. This takes five. <laughs> Is Sonic if he had way too many chili dogs? liked your song. See you in your nightmares. Yeah, if there's six more in here. Oh, there's... Hmm. <laughs> the snow is deep. Oh, there's one. I think they're probably going to start hiding more of them so they're harder to find. Because I think this is the end. Yeah, I don't know where the other five were. Holy cow. <laughs> no! That wasn't awful, but I don't even know where the other five were. They're really hiding. More music in the Loco House. Cool. On to the next stage. So I think there, I guess there's eight stages per world. So that's half of world one. And there's three Mwimwis per level. Those guys are hard to find. <laughs> Alright, let's take a short break. Hi. I'll put more of these in my mouth. How's everyone doing? Because I know, like, I saw some people were like, I can't do it. And I saw some people were like, I have to glance. So I'm curious who is, like, having no problems. Nita says, no motion sickness here. The human mind is, like, wild. Everybody is different. So, like, some people are totally good, and some people are like, I cannot do it.
I will say, like, I'm not really having any issues, but it is a little more discombobulating on a big screen. So if you have issues on a on a TV, you can try it on looking at it on a phone. Because that was how the game was originally intended, right? It was a handheld. I don't remember how many worlds there are. I want to say five? Maybe? If so, we're like a tenth of the way through the game. It's not a terribly long game. My thought process was that we would probably play it today and tomorrow and finish the game. And probably, like, it'll just be like two days. Because it's, it's not super long. 200 bits from Zelda Master 702. We had six months from Tomb Raider. 46 months from G2-1. 300 bits from Zelda Master says, I had to utilize my copy of SM2 when there was uh, tornadoes near my house one year when I was babysitting my sisters and we were sitting in our downstairs bathroom with no power. Thanks, portable nut. It's a nut you can play with outside. Also, <laughs> also, I don't, I, I have, I have doubts that I will probably that this will come to Steven Place. Like almost impossibly not. This will probably stay on the VOD channel, so we could probably just leave alerts on. Because <laughs> I'm trying to think of a situation in which we would post this on Plays, and I'm like, we probably won't. <laughs> We almost certainly will not do that. Because, um, like, <laughs> I'm like, well, after I pay Dan to edit it, I'm pretty sure that we <laughs> posting this on plays would just, like, lose money. <laughs> so I'm doing this because I, I like this game and I haven't played it in years, so we'll probably just post it on VOD. <laughs> Mudaharu. Who is eating two Ritz crackers at once? It is me. I'm only doing that because I'm not doing three. In my humble opinion, I am much too big and my mouth is much too large to eat just a single Ritz cracker at a time. <laughs> like, I need more. <laughs> You know how the, like like little Debbie has like large versions of their snack cakes. I don't buy the it, it, I don't normally buy the, those things, but when I buy them, I only buy the big version. Like they make an oatmeal cream pie that's like big, and that's to me that's the normal size. <laughs> little Debbie, big Deborah. Okay, so we'll we'll just leave alerts on, and we'll go into the next one. Start, start. I probably still will take breaks between every uh, every four. Hug the big hill. There's nothing up here. Nothing over there. Hi, Eddie. You'll wail with goofiness when eating tiny Eddie's onion cola fizzies. Oh man, I found a wee wee I did not expect to find. 
I like how I like t tiny. It looks like Tiny Eddie is streaming. <laughs> That's a bit small though, it says, Large Eddie, do you have a snack big enough for Steven? Tiny Eddie's onion cola fizzies. Oh, I really hate that. I've had some interesting colas over the years um, with different flavors. Onion is not one of them. I feel like I can handle a cola better than like a non-carbonated beverage. Like, I might be able to actually try, I might have actually maybe tried, like, a corn soda. Corn soda would be so, so different than corn soup. Corn soup is disgusting. Corn soda, I think I could do that. We've discovered sticky ceiling. <laughs> Just a coward. Alright, hold on, drop. There we go. Kinda wondering if there's anything out. Nah, I'm gonna be out of the boundaries. Oh, there's an arm. Oh god! Oh my god! Okay. Hmm. Can I get up there if I. I think I have to go this way. If I go this way, I might be able to do this. Oh yeah, all right. Oh, I found. Ooh, I found a new thing. I just keep falling into new things. Anyway, that was a uh, thousand from Aldo. Aldo, thank you. I bet there is an onion. There's a place in Raleigh. I've shown it on the vlog before. What is it called? I think it's called Rocket Fizz, and it just has like all sorts of interesting. Um, sorry, hearing the the guy scream is great. It just has all sorts of like interesting sodas. Uh, I don't think they have any alcohol there. I think it's exclusively uh, sodas that are like from around the world. You can get some like well-known, harder to find ones there. Like if you want to get uh, Moxie and they have a ton of different flavors of Jones Soda. But they also have just, like, weird flavors. Did I kill this guy? Oh, God. <laughs> Wucha, Wucha! I need to get up there. Yeah. Roll! I got sucked up in. Um, let's pop in the air. And then break. Pick a tunnel. Oh, it didn't matter. <laughs> it didn't matter at all. Hi, Haley. Haley, have you ever seen Loco Roco? Like, have you ever played it or know anything about it? It's a game from a million years ago. Oh, this Mui Mui is asleep. Don't worry, we'll wake him up. Sing him awake. It is a very, it's a very cute game. What do the feelers do? Hmm. Uh, Sometimes when you get touched, you vibrate. You, you lose control a little bit when that happens. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> oh, that you see over on the right? If I would have kept going over on the right, there was a... There was one more Loco Roco. Crap. Well, whatever. Pretty good. Mmm. 
That's the first level I got all three. Hmm. I don't know. Vagabond asked if I 100%ed this when I was younger. My suspicion is probably not. But I don't remember. There was a lot of times I would spend... Like, especially on handheld games, I would spend enormous amounts of time. Because they were so easy to play. Like, I'd obviously play them when I was out and about, but also, like, even at home... Is this Shadow of the Colossus? Can I get up in there? Get... Am I... So, am I inside of this? I think? Am I all up in the guts of this frog? I can't get up there. That I can tell. We also had 52, 52 months from Hugplex. Thank you, Hugplex. <laughs> Yoshi's Island flashbacks. What am I looking at? Is this... What is this white? Oh, it's like a tree. There's plenty to eat. Oh, I'm definitely inside this thing. Okay. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I think that was the spine. Any secrets? No. God, it's so wiggly. I saw someone earlier say that they felt like the art direction of Vitamin Connection was inspired by this game. And that's certainly a possibility. But also... I get those vibes even more when we're, like, inside a creature. <laughs> okay, can I... Oh! Oh, big bounce. Can I... get... I'm trying to, like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, there's... This is going to be a little hard. Shoot. There we go. Hell yeah. So there was something up there. It was just a little difficult to, to do it. Okay, don't. Now I need you to get down. <laughs> We're not going left. <laughs> Mars says, I hate when my bones start showing in my stomach lining. It's not good. Doctors don't like that. Hey, now I get to finally sing for the clouds, which is something I tried to do earlier and couldn't. Come on, Becca. Am nurse can confirm. Here's the problem. You got bones in your gut. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Jerk. Yeah, they can just kind of rip part of you out <laughs> and then you gotta say hey that guy belongs to me we are legion god everything in this level is very wiggly <laughs> yeah this would have been a pretty early game for PSP right this was 2006 PSP was 2005 
So probably within the first year. Nope. Not today, Satan. Nope. Seventeen's good. This is the end. Is there anything past this? That was that was some climbing that I did there. Whoa. Look what I found. Oh, this is cool. This reminds me of the 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 secret levels in uh, Donkey Kong Country. When you have to collect all of the things. That's very neat. I did not like it was letting me climb the hill, so I was like, certainly there must be something up here. But this is cooler than I expected. Let's see if I can grab those last two, since i have already here. Got them. Oh shoot, I need to go this way. Oh, 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 whoa, did you see that? Look what's up there. There's a flower there. The stuff is so hidden. <laughs> oh, and there's something you can break. There's secrets in the secret area. Are you kidding me? <sighs> That's mm. I I did not expect that to happen. Secrets in secrets is a lot. You can't go up any higher. All right, I think I'm finally done in this area. Check the other, I mean, certainly there wouldn't be things on both sides. That's just ridiculous. Probably. Yeah, there's nothing. Nope. All right, back down the hill. There was a lot of stuff up there. I can't believe there was a secret in inside a secret. That's a lot. Eighteen's good. At this point, if I find all twenty, I'm gonna be impressed with myself. <laughs> Space Vixen says, Metroid has taught me well to always check secret areas for more secrets. So that's another thing that I want to do. Oh god, can I? I feel like I can get up there. Oh, well look at this. Um, I want to play the Metroid series at some point. I've played not a lot of it. I've played all of Fusion, and I've played 99%, maybe not 95, maybe like 90% of um, Prime. Any more than that? A tiny bit of Metroid 2 on Game Boy. And maybe like, I don't know, not much of Super. I have not, I have not played all of Super Metroid. I probably got halfway through Super. I bet I got halfway through Super on the PSP. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, like the, there's a bunch of like really amazing classic games on 
uh, the Super Nintendo. Like, re like some of the best video games ever made were on the Super Nintendo. Um, Super Metroid's up there. But that is not one I grew up with. I've also not beaten Chrono Trigger. I don't know how far into Chrono Trigger I got. Because I remember talking to Haley about it once, because she, she really likes Chrono Trigger. And I... In my mind, I was like, I think I got halfway through it. And I, after talking to her, she was like, nope. <laughs> Less than that. So I guess maybe I didn't get as far as I thought. Like, I was fortunate to learn about Earthbound. Oh, am I getting... Oh. No, 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 no. Keep rolling. You know, I had Earthbound when I was a kid. I had Mario RPG when I was a kid. Um, that's another, like, really good classic. <laughs> I have played Super Mario World. Oh, look. Oh, oh, this is okay. Oh, no, don't fall out. Stay inside. It's safer. Nerve-wracking. Yeah, uh, yeah, Donkey Kong Country... So when I when I first got the Super Nintendo, um, I got the... Well, I'm not... I don't remember. I don't remember if I had the Donkey Kong... Because there was a, a special pack-in version of the Super Nintendo that had Donkey Kong Country... But I don't remember if I had that. There's something higher, but I don't know if you can... It seems impossible. I wonder if I jump. I'm gonna try one more time. I think there's something to that. There's not. Never mind. Or if there is, I can't do it. That's, that's extreme. Oh, I didn't even think about splitting apart. Yeah, that's... Would have been a good idea. <laughs> Can I get up? I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, I I might be able to fly farther when I'm further apart. That makes sense on paper to me. Oh, oh! What do we have here? Cool. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't remember... Um, if I had the normal Super Nintendo and then I got Donkey Kong Country with it, I definitely had the... Those were my first two Super Nintendo games. Um, but I have... I had... I remember I had the box for Donkey Kong Country. So if the box for Donkey Kong Country didn't come inside that pack-in, then I must have had the normal pack-in and my parents bought the game separate. Those were my first two Super Nintendo games. This is... I think that's a flower. Is it? I think it is? Oh, I guess not. It didn't do anything. Um, oh, wait, no, we had a third game. Is there something over here? Guess not. Uh... We had Super Mario World, we had Super Mario All-Stars, and we had Donkey Kong Country 1. Those are the first games I had for the Super Nintendo. The reason I remember All-Stars is because um, me and my dad played... I had an NES growing up. I got an NES when I was two, so I was really young. And um, me and my dad would play the original Mario Brothers. And... When we got the Super Nintendo, we had All Stars, and we were able to continue playing Mario Brothers One. So the interesting thing is that like a lot of people's fond memories of the Mario series on NES is Super Mario Brothers Three, but I didn't have Super Mario Brothers Three growing up. So when I got All Stars, that was not a big deal to me because I was like, that's not the one I know. So we just played, we just played one. But me and my dad would play Super Mario Bros. 1 on All-Stars, and we would play Donkey Kong Country 1. And I loved Donkey Kong Country 1 a lot. 
And uh, because of that, when 2 came out, I got 2, like, when it came out. And uh, when 2 came out, there was a pack-in to subscribe to Nintendo Power, and that was when I subscribed to Nintendo Power, and I had it... I had a subscription to Nintendo Power almost until the magazine shut down, so... A lot. There was a, there was a lot of them. This is a... I think this is a boss battle. But yeah, I got uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 when they came out, because I really loved them. Um, next to Earthbound... Can I kill these? Oh no, these are bad. Oh no. I need to get bigger. They hold me down. Yeah, next to Earthbound, I think Donkey Kong Country is probably my favorite. Oh, the water gets rid of them. Uh, it's probably my favorite uh, Super Nintendo game. Can I get... Yeah, there we go. I'm wondering if there's anything to the left. Maybe? Yes, there is. Got it. Let's swim over here. Button. Oh, shoot. This is a little scary. Got like a haunted house. Oh, hold on. Is that it? Yes. I found a hole. <laughs> I'm getting squished. Go, 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 go. Oh no! Ah! That was a lot. Well, that was bad. I could have went a little more smoothly. We are down to four. Oh, there's a flower up there. There it is. Yeah, I'll take an extra guy. Jump! Jump! Kind of wondering what happens in this because I don't remember. How do I get that? Can I hit the button again? Hmm. Let's see what this does. Okay, yeah, we're definitely not going back there. Okay, well, now I'm here. Oh! Shoot. Oh. Maybe don't jump around too much. There's spikes about. Okay, we're nine. Wait, is that a is that a flower? No. Oh, there's a lot of them. Where's the pond? That's not scary at all. Oh! Oh, I do not have 15. 
Okay. Can I go this way a little bit? Is there something down? Okay, yeah, there's this at least. I don't know that I'll be able to get to 15. It does look like the spider from Limbo. But also, it, it, there's a lot of Limbo vibes, right? Because parts of the game feel silhouetted. I don't know if I'm going to get to 15. God. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's, that, that's a big guy. I wasn't done digging in the dirt. Okay. Oh no, my my orange. <laughs> I can, I cannot easily obtain that. All right, time to go. I don't know if I can kill that thing. Or maybe if I... Oh, hold on. Maybe if I kill it, maybe that thing opens. Maybe I can kill this thing. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see if I can uh, assassinate this guy. Yeah! Oh, he got he got smaller, didn't he? Yeah, okay. That's how you get that. I sad I can't wake up the moon. Can only wake up the moon if you are good. All right. All right. They're not really singing this time, they're just kind of confused. <laughs> they're like... They're like, weren't there more of us? No, I don't think so. You're misremembering. Cool. So that's world one. I don't know if we get like a cutscene. I'm excited for world two because it's gonna change... Oh yeah, we do. Because it's gonna change some of the game. The world is so happy. Save? Yes. I'll save my game. I wanted to look at the house stuff. I saved the game. Uh, back. Let me go back. Uh, loco house. Build a loco roco home. Let's see what this looks like. Here you can create a loco house. Choose a part. Press options. Okay, so we go to our parts list. Oh, a staircase. Hmm. Oh, this is... Okay. We'll put it here. Parts list. Can it just stick through the ground? No. Cannot. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. Now I'm. Now I'm here. In here. That. Oh. So you can. It looks like you can create. Like a. A machine. Because you can't. 
You actually can't tilt the world here. So if you want to get that thing over there, I think you have to, like, manipulate this so you can get that. I see. Alright. Sure, you can save changes to the house. Sure. Okay, now on to world two. Where more will happen. That de that guy definitely does look like the Babadook. That's fine, but it's a little it's a little concerning. Let's take a short break. Where I will shove more of these Ritz crackers into my mouth. What was I talking about? Super Nintendo! I pretty vividly remember the Super Nintendo games I had as a kid. Um, Mario World, Mario All-Stars, Donkey Kong Countries 1, 2, and 3. Obviously Earthbound. There were some other games that, that left a big impression. I, okay, so I did get Link to the Past. I've never beaten Link to the Past. I never beat it. I got Link to the Past, I got the Million Seller Edition, so my childhood copy is like the Million Seller Choice. There's a lot of like classic Super Nintendo games I actually have never finished. So... Yeah, I didn't beat it. I picked it up again when it came out on GBA. Wait, did I beat Link to the Past? No? Maybe. I don't remember it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> because I I don't remember. If I would have beaten it, it definitely wasn't on Super Nintendo. But let's let's assume no. But maybe. <laughs> if I did, I beat it. I finally would have beaten it on GBA. I bought Kirby's Dream Force. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, man. I have a fun story. This is funny. When we were in Japan, we went to that Nintendo, the secret Nintendo developer bar, right? And the person that runs the, the bar is Chokan. Chokan has, like, a lot of game credits, right? He's worked on a lot of things. Mother 2, notably. With all sorts of stuff. And I was talking while I was in there, and um, we were talking about, like, some of my favorite games, and I mentioned Kirby's Dream Course. And uh, I was talking to Robert, and Robert was like, you know, Chokan actually was, like, the designer, one of the, the designers of... Um, Kirby's Dream Course, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. And Mao was like, Steven's really good at, at Kirby's Dream Course. And Chokan said, not as good as me! <laughs> and I was like, fair! Yeah, that's completely fair. If you, uh, if you work on the game and you put insane amounts of time into the game, yeah, I bet. I do love Kirby's Dream Course a lot. Um, NBA Jam Tournament Edition? Put a lot of time into that with friends. We did not play the game. <laughs> Would have been fun to have seen, but we did not. Some other Super Nintendo games I had. I think I'd have to, like, look at like the the games that I own like on the shelf in order to remember all of them 
I'm look the games are in my office, but I was looking at the player's guides to see if it triggered anything. Oh, Mario Paint. That's another good one. Mario Paint is another one I really, really loved. I thought that was a lot of fun. Don't you own all of them? No. I own about a quarter of all the Super Nintendo games. There's something like... I think there's close to 800. It's like somewhere between 2 and 800. Or not 2 and 800. 7 and 8, 700 and 800. And I own like uh, maybe 200 something. The booby game. The booby game, yeah. Yeah, the booby game. Where, where Haley, <laughs> Haley puts things on my games and then everyone's like, how could you have done this? I really, I really, listen, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen Haley draw. <laughs> things before and it, it really is it really is Haley style it really is you found your friend okay so yeah and once we get to a new world we get new friends and now I play as this character and the music changes so like the singer in the music is different let me on your head I need to go to the right, though. There we go. There's a wee wee. Oh, there's another. As a reminder, the language is not a real language. It's just made up. It is very chill. All right, back to the beginning. We had 35 months from uh, K. Crinion. Appreciate it. Oh, look at the. I should have grabbed these at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing over here. I think I just killed that owl. <laughs> or that owl-like creature. There's spikes up here, but I kind of wonder if there's something else. Oh, shoot. Let's dig in the dirt. We. Oh, there's a thing up there. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back. <laughs> All right. I'm getting big. down before I go up? Yes. Mm -hmm. ho, ho, ho. What do we have here? I'm going to keep trying to think about some of the uh, Super Nintendo stuff. So, I didn't have Chrono Trigger as a kid, but I did get Chrono Trigger... Like, early adult. It might be on the vlog, actually. I think it is on the vlog. I think it's an extremely early vlog, so I would have been, like, 20, probably. So I guess I, guess I was in college when I bought it. I think it was, like, 50 bucks. 
Uh, my assumption is that Chrono Trigger costs more than $50 now. I don't know by how much. I did, I did get it for 50. I actually know where I got it. I got it at Player's Choice. Um, so before player, before I knew Roland, before Player's Choice was in the Myrtle Beach Mall, um, it was in Shalote, North Carolina. And uh, I had went up there and, and found that and I was like, it's like Chrono Trigger is like a, a rare game that everyone seems to like. And I got it. Now it's like, okay, like two to three hundred dollars. That's gross but expected. <laughs> I need five and I have eleven. That seems pretty good. Sing a song. At some point, I will probably play through Chrono Trigger. Haven't done it yet! But there's still time. There's a lot of video games in the world. And they're all long. <laughs> they're all too long. <laughs> video games should last, like, three hours. Probably nothing over here, no. Please give me this. Thank you. Is there anything down here? I probably want to crawl on those flowers. Yeah. I need to get up there, though. No, 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 don't chew on me. That's not... It's not acceptable. Yeah. Ooh! Okay, we're swinging. There's nothing to the left, I think. I think it's just for this. Oh, God. Oh! No, 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 no! There's, mm, there's, uh, that's something. No, no, no tube, no tube, no tube. I don't know what that is, but that is something. I'm gonna try. That's some difficult platforming because, like, you're a blob. <laughs> and you're trying to blob your way. <sighs> I'm gonna try it one more time. And if I can't do it, then I'll just move on. But there's clearly something over there. Uh. Okay. Alright, I'm on the vine. Oh. Oh. That try doesn't count. <laughs> I was having a hard time getting off the vine. That one doesn't count. I have to get started before <laughs> before it counts. All right. Okay. Let's swing. All right. Good. 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 Oh, son. All right. Forget it. But now I am curious what's to the to the right. Because this is how you progress, so I'm curious there's something over there. Oh, I think I have to... Doggone it. I think I have to swing to get over there. Fine. This does give me one last chance to try it. Because if I... 
Oh! Oh, I did it! I always knew I could do it. So there's a Mwimwi up here, and then also... There we go. Cool. Got it. I'm at 17. That's good. That's quite good. Ooh. Oh no. Go back. I command you. Thank you. <laughs> I almost have all- oh, you have to go this way. I almost have all of these things. This is the end of the level, though. Is there anything past it? No, oh no. Okay, well I still couldn't get them all here. I don't know where the last two were, but I don't think I lost any. 18's not bad. That's not bad. That was cute. I like how the vibe changes a little bit with each, like, new monster. That's neat. Oh! Yoshi's Island! Sorry. <laughs> I'm still trying to think of other childhood Super Nintendo games I had. I love uh, Yoshi's Island. I think Yoshi's Island is another one of those games that, like, I didn't beat on Super Nintendo. It wasn't until they re-released it on Game Boy Advance that I beat it. Oh, you can change them. Oh, I didn't remember that. I think I'm going to keep them for their individual worlds, though. So we spend an entire world with the original. We'll do this with the, the pink one. I'm not in the room with the Super Nintendo games, no. That's in my office. Like, I had a, I had a fair bit of games. Although I've definitely probably went through about half of them at this point. And sometimes it's just very difficult to remember what I had. Oh! Oh my god, how how could I have possibly forgotten one of my favorite games ever? Kirby Superstar. Oh no 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 sad. I really thought I could get that. <laughs> oh, I don't know what these are. Anyway, Superstar, yeah. Uh, Superstar. I loved Superstar. Kirby Superstar was great. And then I also got uh, Kirby Streamland 3, which I, I, I also really enjoyed, but I definitely played less than Superstar. Get up there. Oh, no, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Give it to me. Thank you. Bonk. 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 
That's a lot of spikes. I feel like I can maybe... Yeah. Felt like something was in there. This is like if you play Zelda games and you have a you tend to have a good intuition about where the cracks in the walls are for bombs, like you should play this game. <laughs> Careful. Careful. What are you? Hey, stop. Stop it. The screaming. I hate it when people scream so loud I become a million other people. Can, is this a geyser? Oh, it's under there. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Wee wee. No, 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 don't... yes. Anything up the hill? The answer is no. <laughs> that, that... I was holding R1 with my pinky and using my index finger. <laughs> yes, I had to stutter step. Alright, we're in this thing now. Let's go this direction. <laughs> oh god! Yeah. No, no, get me out of your mouth. I belong to me, thank you. Is this a hole? This kind of looks like a hole. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's a bat. We're, we're doing baseball, but with our bodies. Yeah, I've, oh, I've never thought about that, but yeah, I bet Locoroco speedruns are absolutely crazy. Songs to make the worms grow. Thanks. How do you normally play baseball? I mean, I normally don't get hit in the face. I'm not, I'm not normally the ball. Hey, 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 hey. No! Oh, you definitely ate part of my body. Oh, 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 baseball, 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 baseball. Woo! But wait, what was the point? Am I in a new... Sp I'm not in a new place, am I? No. Hmm. Oh! Oh, shoot! Okay, so, yeah, there's something there. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I think you have to land in the good zone of the baseball bat. Any percent is one hour, 39 minutes. That's wild. I need to do better than that. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Hey, sniff boy. Love Sniff Boy. Oh, it's a little smiley face. I think I should break apart once I get up there. Yay! Kind of reminds me a little bit of like 
Casino Night Zone. Okay, but you have to all be here. I think this is what hell is like. <laughs> the problem is if you if you're if you're off camera enough, like they die, so like don't die. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no. I need to get back to my other body. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. <laughs> Yeet! Well, that was a little distraction. Anyway, down these fun stairs. No, 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 no! Sad. Oh, that one moves. I don't like it when it's sentient. A little hop. Um, Mr. Owl. Oh my god! I think I became chewing gum. There's a lot of things that are happening. <laughs> you kind of just have to accept them. <laughs> it's the start. It's the circle of life. He oh, can I open? No! I just want to wake up the sun. Is that so much to ask? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. If I could find one more. I only need one more. Is there something over here? Is there something over here? Let me wake up the sun. I've earned it. Please let me wake up the sun. Oh, I definitely can't wake up the sun. I'm one short. Oh, that's so... I'm so sad. Here comes the sun. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I think the saddest part is I know, like, I missed one because I was going down a tube and then it was hanging from the ceiling and I was like, oh, wait, 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 and I missed it. And if I would have gotten it, I could have woken up the sun. <sighs> now the Teletubbies will stay dead forever. So there's a bigger Loco Roco house. Okay. Yeah. A fast-moving river. Neat. Goodbye, Babadook. What's to the left? It is nothing. Okay. Nope, no, bo 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 bo. No, 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 no. Get this first. I'm re really struggling with some basic concepts here. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Swing. 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 Wow. How did I do so badly there? I need to swing more. Can I swing from the other direction? No, I think this is what I need to do. I wonder why I'm... No, no, come here. 
Okay. All right, I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, there's an. Oh, there is another one, isn't there? Crap. Oh, I'm definitely doing something wrong. I'm not sure exactly what, but something is. Try being one. This doesn't seem correct. Yeah, that's not doing it either. Huh. Am I <laughs> am I bad at physics? I feel, I feel like an idiot. What am I what am I doing wrong? Oh! I didn't okay. I really needed to fling it. I get I got it. Man, that really was just a physics problem. That was just me bat okay. Okay. Well now I think I know Yeah, now I know what to do. <laughs> Do I want to climb the river? I don't. All right, down the river. Oh. Oh, no, 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 bop, bop. There's definitely something up there. I don't think I can get back up the river. But there's definitely, there was a vine to like swing you. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Okay, well, I probably missed out on one thing. Chew me up, Mr. Owl. What did that accomplish exactly? Oh! Oh! I'm turd shaped. Oh, never mind. And now I'm circular shaped. Hold on. No, 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 no. Make me, make me... Oh, I guess sausage is... <laughs> That's a better word. Oh, this just is like random shape. Who knows what I'll become? Oh, neat. I think I want to be sausage, though. Oh. Well, this is fine. I'm less likely to roll away this way. Nothing rolls quite like a sc Oh, we go back to normal when we hit water, though. Is that what the, the owl did before? Because the I think the owl, like, shot me into the great blue yonder. But this owl is like, no, you shall become shape. Eat. I'm up to eight. Reform. No secrets. Oh, hold on. I gotta touch grass. I don't think they intend for you to be able to go up the water, but you definitely can. Which is not a bad thing. Is there anything over here? No. Oh, 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 bah, huh, huh. Got it. Ten is good? Hold on, I'm kind of curious if there's a... No, I guess not. Nope. Get out. 
This is a very strange little alcove. Huh. I don't know what that's about. Moon did teach us to touch grass. Hmm. Maybe something to the right. Kind of looks like a... Yeah. Get that guy. Get him. Oh, and there's another thing here. I just keep stumbling across this stuff. I'm gonna be ready if there's like a moon to consume. I've gotten used to the movement now, so I don't feel dizzy. It might, yeah, it might be something you can just become acclimated to. I'm at 14. This is looking pretty good. How do I get in there? Can I roll into that? If I'm small, I can. Ooh. Okay, I'm at 15 of these stupid things now. Certainly, good things are ahead because of that. I've got such a big blob. And I think I can get up there. I don't know what's to the right, but my assumption is bad. Oh, okay. That's probably how I continue. Shoot! I can do this. I can definitely do this. This is within the realm of possibility for me. I need to land my blob on top. Yeah! Okay, that worked. I found you! Okay. Please give moon. Please give sun. Oh god! I didn't grab the thing. Get over here! Get over. No, little god! <sighs> Can't wait until we run into the thing. It's like, you just need 15 <laughs> to make all your dreams come true. Oh, I'm I'm literally riding a rainbow. Man. It looks like there's nothing here though. Which makes me feel better. Okay, fine. <sighs> Man. Man. Okoroko's not... Like, it, it's not that it's hard. It's not hard. But if you want to, like, get good... That's hard. Alright. Cold level. This will halfway finish world two. <laughs> By definition, no. A blob is generally not hard. I like the icy surfaces that you can like.
there was a loud crash in the kitchen. Kep, Kep's down here and he was like, what was that? Anyway. <laughs> His mouth don't really know. Sometimes that sort of thing happens. We're just... Oh, God. No, I'm not going that way now. Yeah, sometimes it happens where, like, there's just, like, stuff, like, that might be in the sink. And you don't think it's, like, precariously perched, but it might be. And then it's not until you hear a strange sound that you're like, ah. That's what that was. It's definitely not Haley. Haley has work to do. Uh, they grew me to... They grew me to size 13. And, like, pretty quick. So, oh, I guess I need to be pretty big. The snow levels are kind of elegant. Kill it. Come here. Bye. Mm, could be something over here. And there is. <laughs> Cheese hammer. I'm sorry, I lost my temper. I hope you didn't like those plates. Yeah, I, um, I don't know. When there's weird noises in the house, like, I'm just like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I'll go investigate if it's, like, kind of a, like, a newer near- Oh, shoot! Are you serious? Oh, my God. Like, slid right past that thing. Ridiculous. There's no chance. Oh, definitely no chance. All right. The why? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Go back. Oh, this is gonna be hard. There we go. I'm gonna have to do better than that. Careful. There we go. Cool. Something's up here. Thank God this one only needs ten. Um, the weirdest noise I ever had in the house was actually just a few months ago where randomly there was just this extremely like high-pitched awful sound out like out of nowhere I could be sitting around and it would just be like <laughs> and I was like and eventually I discovered it was the toilet Anyway, that's better now. Oh god. I don't know why the camera's now so zoomed in. Oh, I can- I almost squished down in there. Not quite, but like, almost. It's kind of, yeah, it's basically the same sound as the party toilet. We we had we had that happen to a different toilet here, but now it's better. It's very it was very similar to the last toilet noise, which I guess at this point was many many years ago. Oh, we are going down tube so fast. Oh boy. Let's roll around in what I'm going to call snow, question mark? Let's see if we can find a way to get bigger. We're at 18, though. That's pretty good. And we missed one for sure, I think. 
Is there anything to the right? The answer is no. Seeing the pink ones at the end kind of reminds me of Kirby, like when you finish a Kirby level and he splits into multiple and they dance and sing. 18's pretty good. Man, I almost got all of the little things. I did really good on this level. I almost got like everything. That worked out really well. And I get all three Mweemlies. I did a good. The next stage is how relaxing. Ooh, floaty. Okay, let's take a little break. I need to get another beverage in order to do this. My assumption is that this, the latter half of the game is going to be a little bit longer than the first half. So I definitely want to get halfway through World 2, because that's like the halfway point of the game. And then depending on where we are on time, I'll try and push forward just a little bit longer. And if we do that, then I think we'll finish the game tomorrow. It's a short one. It's, been, it's fun to go back through this. I really enjoy this game. Okay, um, I'll be back in a second. Here, enjoy um, this. You can have a three-minute break. Oh, <laughs> Probably need more than three minutes. <laughs> Sorry. One of the appeals of streaming, or creating content in in any way, is sharing experiences. And I feel that in a big way with a game like Loco Roco. Because it's like, oh, there's this there's there's this game that I I know and I, I have thought about for twenty years. And I want people to be able to experience that, at least partially. So that's one of that's that's a fun thing. It's like, ah, we get to share this. Did I find out what crashed in the kitchen? I literally completely forgot. I remembered it for all of like 20 seconds. So when I went downstairs, I was just like, time to get a drink. Nothing was on fire. It My, my suspicion is it's the sink. Like I put, uh, I'll put dirty dishes in the sink. And then at some point I go through and I put those into the dishwasher. But while they're in the sink, like, who knows what could happen. Anything could happen. Yeah. What Spreader's Resource says. Loco Roco is such a joyful game, too, right? Like, it, it, it just emits happiness. Like, you can't not smile when you play it. I agree. Griselium says some of my favorite playthroughs are y'all playing weird, lesser known games like Tulip Moon and Katamari. See, the funny thing to me is that, like, Katamari is not a lesser known game. I get, and it, like, it is when you compare it to, like, some AAA stuff, but when Katamari came out, it, it definitely made a pretty big splash. Um, at this point, I think Katamari is definitely a lesser-known title. 
but at the time when it came out, it 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 it, it made it made it made a pretty big game pack because it was kind of weird. It was it also didn't it didn't release at full price. I remember that also being a thing. Video games at the time were fifty bucks, and I think Katamari. Maybe even 30? Maybe 40, but it was definitely like cheaper than a normal game. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> There's no part of me playing Katamari that's like, yes, this I'm glad this was discounted. Like it's it's a real video game. It's a very fun game. I mean I guess it's short if you play through it and you don't play anymore, but it's very fun. We had 19 months from Moyashi. Cheese Hammer gifted a sub to Screaming Toilet and also Smashed Plate. Better than a Smashed Toilet. 311 bits from uh, Neboana, who says, uh, This is a real cute game. Hopefully it'll be a serotonin injection to distract me from my migraine. Hopefully. Sorry that you have a migraine. I'm kind of wondering if, like, the 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 dizziness factor would... would help with the migraine in some way <laughs> your brain can't focus on being uh in pain when it's focused on wondering what's happening to the shifting landscape I probably could add more of those all right We're going into World 2-5. <laughs> negates it, like vertigo, in the opposite direction. Yeah! Oh, we start big. We start 14. Hey! Okay. It was like an evil devil chameleon. I am very big. This is some relaxing music, too. There we go. Wee wee. Wee wee. Cheese <laughs> Ember gifted a sub to Toilet Smash. Yeah, we're. Mm. We want Toilet to work. The toilet that that was making that sound, by the way, was um Kepler's toilet. Kepler has a bathroom. Not that he uses the toilet, but the to the toilet had not been flushed in a long time. And I think that's what caused it. So I flushed it, and then it got better. I'm gonna get stabbed. Now there are two of us. Oh, I'm... Mm. Maybe I'll do better if there's... Le okay. We fell. Hi, pal. A little higher. You want to cuddle? Come here. There we go. You want to lay down? I gave him some food during the break, so he would he had a little bit more to eat. Good boy. All right. Yeah, I got 15 of these things. Oof. Oh, getting chewed up. Oh, now I'm this shape. Is this the shape I want? 
Oh, no, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Jerk. This is certainly a shape. I don't know that this is, like, the shape I want. Oh, yeah, I guess we call these things a triangle. It's a rounded triangle, so <laughs> my brain does not immediately be like, triangle! But I guess, yeah, it's a triangle. I think this is, there's something up here. Oh, my God. Admittedly, it's probably easier to get up here as a tri triangle, maybe, than a, than a ball? I don't know. Mr. Al. Hit me again. What else you got? Um... This seems like this will be harder. Hmm... I... Hmm... Hmm... Mr. Viper Fang said rectangle, but W-R-E-C-K rectangle. I mean, yeah. Well? Holy crap. Okay. I cannot... I'm gonna have to... I think I just need to be circle. Mr. Owl, can I be anything other than this? Oh, well... Oh, God. This is... This is not better. <sighs> um... My poor head. I... Mm, whoa! This is never gonna work. I, I have to... I'm not gonna be able to climb that if I'm this shape. Try again. Honestly? That stupid guy. I was doing it too. Yeah, th this is probably easiest with ball. Hell yeah! That went really well. That went really, really well. It's not necessarily that ball is the best shape. But it's pretty good. Give me orange. There we go. Time to go. <laughs> Ball is life. There are... Yeah, that guy, and also spikes. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's looking at the spikes, it's like, no, 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 no. Please, no. The little demon gopher thing. Got poked. Sharp. New definition of sharp day. Okay. I'm at the end. Ooh. Small secret, but still secret. Sing a little song. There might come a time where I want to be long sausage thing. 
But that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I'm not there. We had uh, 41 months from Antihero Sora. Thank you. For me, that's every day. <laughs> every day I'm sausage. I only got one wee wee. You might reach the stars. I can do it. I believe in me. You found your friend. So now we have different music. That's definitely something up there. <laughs> you want blue? Big time. Come here. Boom! Sent him to the moon. Ooh, button. Missed it. Missed it. No, I got it. God, he's really singing us a song. I think they do like little harmonies. Or maybe they're just humming a lot. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 you see that? You see that? Almost missed it. I don't know how to get to it. There's a, there's a, there's a mwimwi. Oh, and there's a thing down there too. Oh my God. How do I? Let's grab this. Such hidden things. Sing a song. I think it counts as singing. Maybe. <laughs> That's that's where that guy was. Oh no. Is there another way out of here? Somewhere, maybe? Mm, okay. Oh, you can jump through the... Okay. That's how you do it. Boom! What's... 
Oh, I see what this is. Careful. Careful. I'm getting big. About to get bigger. Oh. Spikes. Oh, shoot. Careful, careful. No, no, no. Yeah! Oh, I'm so big. Wait a minute. I'm playing with tilt control. I didn't know there were tilt controls. I don't know that I want to play with tilt controls. Wow, if you don't touch it long enough, it zooms in. This is a lot. Alright. They must have added tilt controls for the PS4 edition. Because, yeah, the PSP didn't have tilt controls. I did notice occasionally when I was doing it earlier that, like, it felt a little weird. Like, hmm, it went a little strange. But, yeah, it's because the controller can tilt it, too. I would rather use button. Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! We did it! Oh, I'm so excited. We made the moon happy. Look how happy the moon is. Me and my brother. All right. There's definitely a thing here. We're going somewhere. You know, from a distance, they remind me of, um, the blue angry bird. I haven't played Angry Birds in forever, oh my god. Angry Birds is like a different era of gaming. It was a very, very specific era of gaming, and it is over. <laughs> Go! I played Angry Birds in college. I, I had an iPod Touch, like the... Well, that's what it was called, right? Yeah, I had an iPod Touch before I had a iPhone. So I would carry a cell phone and an iPod Touch, because an iPod Touch did all the things that an iPhone could, it just couldn't make calls. And I was like, well, I don't need that. Am I going this way? I think this dropped me off back where I, yeah, where I was. Um, and like, the game was Angry Birds. 
And it's it's legitimately fun. Like it's it's a good game. Come on. Oh, very big. And they put it onto uh it's on a few systems. Like it's on Wii. Didn't we did we play it? Did we play it for Extra Life, or did we do it for, like, the Extra Life, like, pre-show or something? I'm not sure. It feels like there's something back here. Yeah, there definitely is. Oh. Well, I'm getting all the cool things because I have more than 15. The test stream? Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Look at all this! You get richly rewarded if you manage to hold on to so many of them. There we go. My, I, I guess they probably still make Angry Birds. I don't know why they wouldn't make it. careful here. There we go. Hold on. Oh boy, hold on. There's something... Mamma mia! No, I don't want to go that way. That's definitely the way I need to go. I need to figure out how to get up into that hole. Look at all those nuts! <laughs> That's a lot of nuts! We had 500 bits from Mr. Viper Fang says, Ah yes, an iPhone without the phone. It was in I. It was, I, it was, I think it was kind of a common thing too. Like, there was a period of time yeah, there was a period of time where the... Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think I have this right. There's a period of time where the only company that you could get an iPhone through was AT&T. Like, if you wanted to have an iPhone, like, you had to have AT&T. They had, like, a, I think an exclusivity thing. Um, I don't know how long that went on, but there was a period of time where it was. And, you know, if people had a carrier that they were locked into or whatever, and it's like, well can't get an iPhone, what can I do? It's like, ah, oh, well, what you can do is you can use your normal phone, but then also you, oh shoot! But then also use uh, a iPod Touch. We're going places. No, 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 careful. No, 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 that's also bad. I haven't gotten all of them. I don't know if I'm missing one or if there's one that's ahead. Oh, now we're just floating. This might be more effective if I was tiny. Uh, a lot of people had physical keyboards on their phones for a long time. Pop open? Get in there? There we go. Yeah, I had, uh... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I had a slider phone for a bit. Um... My, my cell phone journey was always weird because I started with, like, the Nokia brick. So, like, very, very, very old phone. And I usually waited a very long time until I got something different. Oh, 
wild. Alright, so I'm not gonna get... I'm not gonna get 20, but hey, 19's good. That was a good one. Um, yeah, I had I had the Nokia brick, and then at some point I had like some something that had color, because Nokia brick only had snake. <laughs> it was like um, one. Yeah, there, it wasn't even grayscale. It was like one color. It wasn't grayscale. It wasn't like a Game Boy. It was just pixels were either on or off. <sighs> and I think it was, it, God knows, it's probably like a 64. Yeah, monochrome. It's like a 64 by 64 display. Sounds right. I don't believe that phone could text. Like, I don't think... I'm not sure that that phone had that functionality built in. Maybe it did. If it did, I didn't have texting on it, so... A huge creature. Then add something in color. At some point I had a... A slide out phone. And then I had some sort of Samsung. It was before Android existed. Android wasn't a thing yet. But I had a Samsung phone that was touchscreen. And that's what I had in college. I feel like there's something up there. Why am I always in a belly? What's happening? Come on. Mm. Oh, I did it! Oh, I did it! Oh, that was very worthwhile. Look at that. Cool. <laughs> Why am I always in a belly? Yeah, I had I had that Samsung. I don't, God, I don't know what it is. I still have that phone somewhere. That was the phone I had whenever I started dating Mal. So like, all of the initial interactions I had with Mal. I mean, they weren't on text, right? It was probably like an instant messaging service or Skype or something. But we did text, and like, I still have that phone because all of our initial like texts to each other are on the phone, and I think that that's cute and fun. Will I ever take the, the, the time and effort to get them off? Like, no. <laughs> I'll just live on that phone, but I do have the phone and that's fun. Oh. Oh, I have to ride this wave. Oh, this is strange. Eh. Eh. This, this level is real wiggly. I don't know how I feel about this yet. Oh, I, I thought that for sure was a way to go. It's not. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Or just ignore him at this point. I guess I'm moving on. Oh, no, no, boom, boom, boom. Go, go back, go back. Yeah. Is this Foster's home for imaginary friends? <laughs> Is this Kirby's Dream Land 3? Uh, oh, get on top of that, maybe? That's Wiggly. Oh, hmm. Oh man, this is... Oh! Okay! I figured there was something up here. Got it. Oh! 
Burp, burp. <sighs> There's so much... What's the word? Undulation? <laughs> I think that's the word I want. <laughs> I don't love that word, but I think that's the word I need. <laughs> Jiggle physics. Get out of the way, dead or alive. Loco Roco is here. Oh yeah, we get to wake up Cloud. We had 26 months from Darth Mario 64 and 40 months from TMA 628. Thank y'all. Maybe this guy isn't a cloud. Maybe it's a white blood cell. Kakunte. This looks like a little hole. I was right! I love discovering the secrets. You're just jumping at walls and you're like, this could be a thing! And then it is. And then you feel smart. Jump! Going up. I guess it could be a flower. The game, the game certainly is a little ambiguous. Um. Oh, I'm tiny. Oh, give me that. Cool. Is that? Hmm. Hold on. Maybe not. Oh, maybe so. Nuts! I don't understand nuts. Like, I don't know why the nuts are in the game. Like, it's fine, it's just a very... It's just a very odd inclusion. Alright. It's definitely something off to the left. No way. Holy crap! Oh, wow. If you missed that, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, this is Conker's Bed for a day. That's another game that I've, like, never played. At all. We were talking earlier about Super Nintendo games. Oh, I can't go that way. Um... I still can't remember all the Super Nintendo games I had. There's, I'm sure I'm missing some. But, like, I have not played Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Ever? No, I've, I've probably played the very, very beginning, but not much of it. Anything over here? I bet I can't climb that hill. Nope. <laughs> Jake's Art Workshop, do you own it? Yes, I have all of the N64 games. I have uh, all the, well, the North American releases for N64. But have I have I beat it? No. Have I played it? Like well, you not know, not much. No. There's a lot. I mean, there's a there's a fair bit of N64 games that 
haven't aged all that well. That might be amongst them. It's it's a 3D collectathon made by Rare, but it's it has raunchy humor. It's an M. It's like M-rated Banjo Kazooie. That's Conker's bed for a day, and it, it very much like all of the marketing was about the fact that it was explicit. Like on the on the box art, it's got like a big thing that's like this game has naughty things. So that was what all of the stuff was about. All the N64 games are next to me. I have to walk around the stupid cow. Oh, this will look weird. I'm a torso! Um, they're double stacked. So finding things... There it is. Yeah, I have custom printed stuff, so this isn't the actual thing, but it's similar. Does it say it on the cart? No. It doesn't say anything about it on the cart. I feel like I own the player's guide for this. I don't know if that's true. But I feel like I do. I definitely have a video game to play, but now I'm just real curious. Just let me check. Just let me, just give me a sec. You gotta look under the... I mean, maybe I've just seen it before, and in my brain I was like, I own that, because that happens too. Sometimes if I've just looked at something, I'm like, oh, I, that's mine. Sometimes it's not. Where's all the other players, guys? Oh, they're over there. God. Okay. Well. All right. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see it. I guess someone could have checked my list. If it's if it's if it's not on my list, I don't own it. What? You had you had a snack already. What you complaining about? Oh wait, wait, hold on. I do own it. Found it. I thought I owned this. I was like, I feel like I have this. Yeah. So the the Conker's Bad Fur Day Player's Guide has this. I don't have. I don't own the box because I don't collect cardboard. I, I try really hard not to collect cardboard. Um, the 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 guide says this guide is not for anyone under 17 and on the box it said that but it said game so this game is not for anyone under 17 and i think the the m logo was like extra big on the box the guide is also explicit and kind of funny <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like full of, of innuendo. Um, and there's a bunch. The Player's Guide is actually really interesting because it's written from like Conker's perspective. So there's all of these notes in here as if Conker wrote them.
Anyway. Okay, I'm going to put this away. <laughs> that was a that was a little detour we took. We're allowed we're allowed one detour. Oh yeah, the boss who's the pile of poo. I am the great and mighty poo. And I'm going to fling my poop at you. Hey buddy. You you doing okay? I gave you some food not that long ago, so you don't need anything. I think you're just a little you're a little stir crazy. All right, final level of world 2. Hey, <laughs> Chaz, did you allow this detour? Definitely not. I'm only hurting myself because I, I was like, oh, it'd be good to try and finish this game tomorrow. But I may not finish it tomorrow. I may, I may finish it next week. But that's fine. Both are fine. At some point... Oh, God. At some point soon... We'll be back to, like, a longer game. But until then, and especially with Mao out of town, covering this is nice because I, I, pro I did technically promise this four years ago. I was like, oh, Mao can't do it, but at some point, at some point, I'll cover it. So now I am. Back in the era when I still I would make a promise. Now no. Now no promises. Mal's gone for a week. So it'll be. Mm, hold on. I feel like something's there. I think I need to jump with this. I'm not doing a very good job. I feel like there's something right above me. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, quite a bit up here, actually. Another Mui Mui! Yeah, for anyone that didn't... Um, did she set up the feeder for you? Woo! Yeah, for anyone that didn't hear, uh, yeah, this Friday, Haley will be here. And we'll be doing Super Mario RPG. I'm very curious to see what outfit she's going to come up with this time. When we last left off, we had just gotten to Moleville. So we'll be working through... Let me break this. We'll be working through Moleville. And then... We might get a little further than that. Probably not a lot further. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Keep rolling. To an extent, if you don't find the secrets, I don't think you'd ever grow. <laughs> like, most of the flowers are hidden. Oh god. Go. This one's hard to get. There we go. An another Mui Mui! This is World 2, keep in mind. So, like, by, by the time we get to the final world, things will be... <laughs> it'll be difficult. Creepy hand. Mm, everything's fine. We had 42 months from Space Cat Zero. Appreciate it. I kept just just in frame staring at me. Hi, buddy. There are times where Kep just stares at me for a long time. What is it? Moja, 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 moja. 
No, 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 no. There's... Hmm, that's weird. Oh my god! Okay. I don't think I can jump that high. It kind of looks like there might be something... If I use that as a... Launch point? But getting up there is very hard. I could maybe do it if I was smaller. Oh wait, no I did it. And there's nothing here. Good to, good to know. Time to get bigger. He's still right that he's barely barely off screen. Oh my god, we get to talk to the moon again. Here you go. We did it. It was like a brief moment of peace and then back to chaos. Oh, big boy. Look at that guy. Definitely gonna kill this thing because it could give us a good Grab this. Come here. Alright, one more. Bonk. I think... I think we still have not managed one time to get all 20 Loco Rocos. I don't think it's happened once. We... It's not from lack of trying. Oh, I can't get up there. That's world two. Also means we're gonna get a new cutscene. I got all the stars. Oh, I got all the... Oh, shoot! Dang. I did good. I don't know where the last two Locorocos were, but, like, that went really well. And I got all three of these guys. That was a really good level. Confetti kills them. I think this is actually just the same cutscene as the first time. <laughs> just plays this cutscene again. You did it. Okay, I'll do I'll do a few more. At some point at some point I have to go pick up Josh. <laughs> but he's not he's not back quite yet, but I'm picking him up today. Let's see what World 3 is. I think we get a new... Well, no, we may not get a new guy, actually. You don't necessarily get a new guy for every world. Because we got this guy before World 2 ended. Uh, Radio Dread, there are five worlds. Uh, Corsillian says, do you think you're going to play this game next week? I, I would like to finish this game because it's so short. Uh, I'm going to be playing this game again tomorrow. Um, around probably 1 p.m. Eastern. So I might finish it tomorrow. It's not impossible for me to just finish this tomorrow. And then next week we play something else. But because it's so short, I'm, I just want to finish it. Oh, hi, friend. 
Oh, I thought that was going to be a thing. It's not. Hmm, how do I... Oh, God. There's some way to get in there. Maybe, like, in this little alcove? Yes. That's where it is. Can I... Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I know what time Josh arrives, so it's... I'll make sure that I'm I'm there on time. Cute. Oh, there's something. I bet there's there's something here. Oh shoot! Oh god! No 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 no! Oh god! No 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 no! My boy! That's bad. I feel bad, but he's dead. He's dead and there's nothing I can do. Please don't scream at my children. Who are also me. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, God. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this guy. Please, please stop, please stop screaming. I didn't kill him. Bonk him. Okay. Please don't scream at my children who are also me. Oh God, now what? I think I've seen this toy before. You ever seen the, the, the toy that they had for kids where it's like... God, how do I describe this? Someone's gonna instantly know what I'm talking about. And I don't even know how to begin to describe it. The thing where like you hold it and like it folds in on itself. You know what I mean? The like-like toy is... Yeah? I get... Yeah! I don't... It... Right? You remember that thing? And like you could hold it, but if you held it, it would fall in on itself. Yeah. You, e you either know what I'm talking about, or you're very concerned. <laughs> There's no in-between. Because if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're like, mm, what are you talking about? No, it's a toy for, it's a toy for kids. Yeah, it did have- it had liquid in it, right? Like, it was liquid inside of the thing, and that's why it was squishy? Yeah... I never owned one, but I remember them in toy stores and, like, touching it and being like, I hate this, and then I never had one. <laughs> oh, I'm a big noodle. Three and a bits from Marty Griff says, Due to the four-day weekend we, we had, I keep mixing up days. I feel like that just in general. <laughs> Get in there. There we go. Oh, can I? Oh, maybe. Maybe. I might be able to do this. Get in there. Get in there. You can fit. <laughs> oh, oh, I did. I totally did. That was fun. That made me smile. <laughs> get all these guys into a pile. Jesus. Oh, that that's a hole for me. Isn't it? Stand up. Don't just lounge. Like, stand up. If you, if you can. I don't know that you can. Yeah! Yeah! 
We're finally at the point of the game where they're forcing us into shapes. We saw shapes earlier, and they're like, you can choose a shape if you want, but now it's like, you have to deal with this. Oh, God. Oh, that turns me back into a sphere. Is there something... Maybe not. Creepy eye is... something. Hmm. Don't get stabbed! Oh god. Oh no, 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 no! Yeah! I missed it! Give me that thing! Oh, come on! Yeah. No, there we go. I got it. Instructions unclear. Got stabbed. Me ordering food at the Waffle House. Nope, 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 nope. All right, I'm at 13. Is this the... Okay, this must be the way I'm going. Careful. Oh! Big. That's big. Don't get, don't get crushed. If I don't get crushed, something good could happen. I still managed to make it happen. Get in here. I need you to, there we go. There's a lot of strange things. It's fine. I can open... I can open this. I can... I can help Square Diglett. It is like a barbershop quartet. Or a barbershop... Lord, I don't know what the word is for 14. That's too... that's too high. Got it. We speeding along the ground. Oh, the, oh no, 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 there's something up there. If I can... Oh, that's... Mm, no, mm, that seems hard. <laughs> I need to get on top of that? Oh, I did it. Cool. Oh, fingies. Shoot! 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 No! My children! My child! My child! I got a replacement. <laughs> Deca Quartet? I guess. You got a replacement for chat. Yeah, I lost one. I got another one. That's fine. Give it to me. Got it. <gasps> I have just enough for the sun. I don't think I've actually woken up the sun yet, have I? I've only gotten the moon like twice. Sing for the sun.
Thank you, son. Should probably keep them together. I think I live longer that way. Mm, trust issues. No, 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 no. We're not ending the level. Don't you split apart on me. Oh, wait, yeah, we're... No, okay, there's nothing over here. Tetradecatet. I'm a part of a Tetradecatet. I like that. Play a new mini game. I forget that there's mini games. Squishy and sticky. Possibly my two least favorite things. Maybe. Maybe. There's nothing over here. There's definitely something to the left. Maybe. Definitely, maybe. Yep. There we go. Yeah. You have to take the launch platform again. I almost got on top of that little bean. Oh, here's this. Ah, you can either touch the the sticky walls or the fingies. Hmm. Hmm. It seems lose lose. <laughs> I don't think I don't think you win <laughs> in either circumstance. Give me that, thank you. Here's a guy that I can kill. Alright, these things look like mushrooms to me. Oh! Where was I? Oh yeah, we were talking about Super Nintendo. <laughs> this is a small detour. What we were talking about. I can't remember the rest of the games I had in childhood. So at this point... Oh god. Oh sh... Bizarre. Darn it. So at this point, um... I'm gonna talk about N64. This has been a good reminiscing stream because I've... We started talking about PSP, and we kind of worked backwards a little bit. I think most people that had an N64 had Mario 64. I don't know that that's true, but I'd like to believe that probably most of them did. It was such a definitive title. And I think it also got, like, marked down... not terribly, terribly far into the N64's life. So it was a lot easier to, like, get a hold of. Mm -hmm. 
Let's make the worm grow. I ate all the Ritz. <laughs> yeah, Panama Becker says, you're working on collecting PS2 now, right? No. <laughs> Maybe never. I have more PS2 games than I have Super Nintendo games. It's not really by choice, either. It's really not. The thing the thing that I've tried to collect has been... Um, Super Nintendo. And over the years, people send in games to mail, which I appreciate. But obviously we get like a lot more PS2 games than um, Super Nintendo. So as a result, I've wound up with quite a bit. We have a few Japanese ones, too. Oh, God. Part of me wants to say, like, you never know what the future holds. You might try and finish PS2. But there's another part of me that's like, uh, probably not. Seems unlikely. There are too many of those. I was talking about it on Breakfast Stream the other day, but I am, I am trying to get all of the GameCube games, like internationally. And I finally added the ones that I got. Um, where am I going? I finally added the ones that I got in Japan to my list. There's something up here. And I think I'm missing like 20 in Japan. Is this the way I go? No, okay. And the, the big problem I have is that I want to get the the POW exclusives, because there's some that are exclusive to the POW region. Or there's, you know, games that, are, that came out for POW and Japan, and I'd rather have the POW version because it has English on the disc. And... I don't know, man. It seems... It seems like there it might not be very easy to do that. I remember when we were in Ireland... I, like, very deliberately was like, I'm going to see if I can find, like, some retro game stuff when we were in Dublin. And I didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, hmm. Well. Okay. Oh, this is hell. Oh, God. Oh, no. Please... Please release me. I think maybe I just have to go left. Yeah. There we go. Oh my god. <sighs> Please. 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 Mount the bean. Mount the Bean is a good... That's a good thing to remember. Alright. Didn't miss anything. There was nothing to miss. Alright, let's jump over here. Nothing. I think they, they remastered Loco Roco 2 as well. But I've never played Loco Roco 2. I don't have a I don't have a huge interest in playing Loco Roco 2 either. I just like want to relive this game and then I'm like, alright, I got other games to play. We've been trying to decide what it is we're gonna play next also, and that's been that's been hard. Because we have two games changing out, right? We finished Moon and Starfield. So I have the possibility of starting two new games. 
and uh, it's hard. I don't want to talk about what the options are because then people will get excited about something, but then I'm like, oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> or I'm not doing any of the things that I listed. Uh... Okay, I think I'll do one more. That's not quite half, but almost half. And then uh, we'll we'll play more tomorrow, and we'll just kind of see where we're at. And we might be able to finish it, and if not, I'll finish it next. Ooh, new friend! You found your friend! We had 33 months from Rojanial. Rojanial, thank you. New songs, new voices. I really like this voice. We haven't we haven't spent a lot of time being square. Is this just to get us back, or is there something in the ceiling? I don't know why I broke apart. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I definitely was all the way up there a second ago. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe I'm imagining this. Alright, forget that, moving on. Forget that scary guy. Nope, nope, nope! Red must be bigger. The best part of this, I mean, well, I want to say the best part of the game is the soundtrack. Oh god. But definitely one of the appealing factors of it. One of them got bigger. Form the big sausage. Oh god. You've got to stand up straight or this is never going to work. I kicked that guy right in the face. Oh lord. Hey! That was a bit of goal lighting. Shapes? <laughs> oh my god. Asking me to do this with the sausage is impossible. I guess this isn't the We've seen sausage. Sa sausage is slightly more oval. <sighs> oh my god. Goal lighting, thank you. Oh my, yes, Padma Vega says it's a wacky, waving, inflatable tube man. I didn't make that connection until right now, and yes, yes it is. That's exactly what this is. You have... What was that? No, go back. Oh. Sausage your way up there. There's clearly something there. I don't want to fall. I'm gonna try one more time, and then I am moving on. <sighs> How 
how do I do this? Oh, honey, that's that's a used Ritz cracker wrapper. Oh, God. <laughs> like, I need... I'm gonna have to use that circle. But that is scary. Bonk. All right, I'm not doing that. That that part's not important to me. Look, now I'm like really. Oh shoot! Oh, oh! I found the thing. Get your sausage in there. Oh, it's nuts! I'll just lay on them and eat them. Just give me a sec. does nothing but give me like two yeah it gives me <laughs> that guy all right go <laughs> just snaking around this this is very sad oh ooh 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 another one get over there All right, no more, no more sausage, no more wacky inflatable tube man. Ooh, secret tube. Nothing else over here. I look a lot like a tomato. Oh god, now what? Square. Sure. Square's not that bad. There are definitely worse shapes than square. Oh, whoa! Hey, what ba 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 Sometimes when you fling your head against a hard surface long enough, something great can happen. I think this guy has the best voice. Of all the Loco Rocos, I think this is the best one. I like the original one too. But this one's great. No, oh, Lord. Okay, sure. We got. Oh. Oh, we're different. We're random. Some of us are... okay. A variety of shapes. And we become... Oh yeah, we're not round anymore. We're... what shape is this? We're that... that one boss. We're the one boss from, um... Yoshi's Island. That you have to shoot with the eggs and it gets smaller. <laughs> Mochi shaped? Yeah. Oh, you made a. I was like, uh. They made a platform 
for me, I think, is what's happening. Let me get Flail out from under here. That was great. I loved everything about that. This uh this soundtrack is on Spotify. I don't know if it's every I don't know if the OST has every song. It has it has a lot of them. No, 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 no. Die. <laughs> Nothing over here. Oh god, okay. Chew me up. Oh, I'm triangle. Triangle blob, triangle blob. What was the, what was the point of making me a shape if I'm at the end of the level? It's weird. I have a question. Hold on. Will I do the final animation in the different shape, or do I become... Because I definitely want to be little sausages. I want to finish this level as a little tiny sausage. No. Not a tent. Come on, Mr. Owl. Oh, that's, that's actually the sausage. Yeah, okay. Does this put me back into circle? I look like peppers or carrots or something. <laughs> Renee says, a poo. They do look like poos. The first time I saw them, I was like, that's a poo. That's a, that's a little turd. The great thing about this is that because of their shape, they did not go into the bottle. <laughs> and now they are just trying forever. That's a good little detail. Wait, wait. That's fun. You did it. Uh, let's save the game. Overwrite. I think the song voice is completely dependent on who's currently selected. I'm pretty sure. I didn't think it was going to load like that. Yeah, it's different. Uh, okay, so, hey, we did it. Um, this will be out on the VOD channel at some point. Vagamon pointed out the fact that um, the first time that we tried to play this, which was January 2020, um, that is actually not on YouTube. So if I can go dig up that VOD at some point, I'll just put it on my to- I don't know if it'll be soon, but I'll put it on my to-do list. And... Um, take that that section because what happened is we we tried it and it didn't work because Mal got sick and then we played Donut County and Donut County is on Steven Plays like that whole playthrough the live stream is on Steven Plays but the beginning of that stream was us attempting to play Loco Roco and Mal getting sick so I might put that onto the VOD channel 
at some point, because I think that's a, a fun little thing. 48 months from Pete Cow. Congrats on four. The beginning of that stream is on Twitch. I'm pretty sure it's highlighted so you can watch it on Twitch. It's not like it's gone, but... Anyway. Um, Alright. Anything you need to know? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I, um... I don't... I don't know when you're gonna get a vlog. <laughs> Like, uh, pro ho me me hopefully this week. <laughs> but th the next one's not super hard, but then after that, they're immediately super difficult. So, like, uh, we'll see. Uh, what's our raid message? Because we've had some real, real bangers playing Loco Roco. My wee wee. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry. My wee wee is very funny. <laughs> like, that's just a funny thing. That's just a funny. It's just a very funny thing. Oh, Lord. Uh, Jules is on break. It would have been nice to raid Jules, but he's not around at this particular moment. Because I don't usually get to raid him. So I think y'all are going to go to Jared. Y'all are going to Jared. Let me do this. I can do this. Uh, wait, hold on. How do I do this? Twitch. Twitch. That, but my channel. There we go. Don't do the okay, yeah, thanks. Yes. Raid the eight bit drummer. Okay, there we go. Raid message is my wee wee. <laughs> it's because earlier when I was the the, the guys that you collect are are, are uh what is it? Wee wee wees. And everyone's like, Did you say my wee wee? No like no. Uh, Y'all have a good day. I will be back tomorrow afternoon to play more of this and possibly finish it. We'll see what happens. Um, and that, that, uh, that's all. I hope y'all have a good evening. And um, no disc, yeah, no disc only tonight. Sometime later. All right, my wee wee. Can't wait for my wee wee. Good timing. <laughs> it's good. It's really good. Steven, your 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 raid alerts or your your I'm sorry, your raid messages are more cursed than Lucas. Okay, like. <laughs> Hold on, I got I got something perfect for this. Uh, I have the perfect song for this freaking this message right here, dude. This is, this is perfect. Sorry, Wee Wee is very fun to say. There's, as one as one final closing thing. There's an episode of Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> there's a, there's an episode of Rocco's Modern Life, where um, I think they're doing. Are they doing prank calls? I don't know if they're doing prank calls or what. But they're. One of the, the uh, Philbert is on the phone. And he keeps saying, wee wee. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to make a whole lot of sense, but you're just going to have to stick with me because this is like a, a relevant childhood moment. I remember watching 
this episode when I was a kid with my dad. And the end of the the entire end of the episode is like Filbert and Heifer just going wee wee. <laughs> anyway, I remember my dad la like laughing until he cried. <laughs> And, like, I thought it was funny. I was a kid. But my dad was, like, very, very touched and just, like, crying laughing because it was just over and over. It's like, wee wee. And it's funny. It's a very funny... <laughs> it's a funny word. Um, okay, anyway. All right, Kepi, how are you doing, bud? You're good. All right, I, uh, I'm going to go get ready to pick up Jepson so he can be home. See you all tomorrow for more Loco Roco.